It's not a bird, it's not a plane, it's Santa Claus and he's come to Maine. There's a story told of a jolly old guy who flies a sleigh across the sky being pulled by a team of eight reindeer bringing toys to those who've been good all year. It was never something that I believed until last year on Christmas Eve when under the light of a bright main moon something happened that changed my tune. All was quiet in the town of VZ, sitting at home just taking it easy. I was signing my name to a Christmas card when I heard a crash in my front yard. I threw on my coat and the tan mucklucks that I got at Martin's for 13 bucks. I ran outside and to my despair there was fur and antlers everywhere. Now just relax, no one was hurt. They were shaken up but fully alert when from underneath a pile of snow a voice let out a ho ho ho. He stood up apparently free of pain then smiled and said this must be Maine. And as he dusted off the powdery mess I said it is. How'd you guess? He said the big Green mailbox gives some clues. It does say Bangor Daily News. Besides, I'm lucky that I'm not dead, because I just missed Paul Bunyan's head. He said I really must conclude my sudden loss of altitude as a hairline crack in the back of my sleigh that I noticed just the other day. I said, my friend, you're in luck, as I grab my toolbox from the truck. Now don't you worry there, St. Nick, this duct tape ought to do the trick. <laughs> He said, I don't mean to impose, but a new 9-volt for Rudolph's nose would really help improve my ride. I said, no problem, come inside. As he drank the milk that the kids left out and ate the cookies, I had no doubt t'was time for this boy to concede that Santa Claus was real indeed. I said, that milk would sure taste dandy with a touch of Alan's coffee brandy. <laughs> I really shouldn't, he said. I got a real long flight ahead. He left some presents under the tree for all the kids, the wife and me, then climbed aboard his trusty sleigh and I stood and watched him fly away. I woke the next day just past dawn and had to go check my front lawn to see if it was just a dream or if that was Santa and his reindeer team. I threw the curtains open wide and knew right away when I looked outside I wasn't dreaming and the reason I know, the yard was covered with yellow snow. You have a Merry Christmas, y'all.